An exotic dancer who admitted running over and dragging a client for miles before stopping got the maximum sentence of 10 years in prison. The hearing for Christina Hensley was certainly an emotional one today. Nine News reporter Bill Price live now from the Butler Warren newsroom with Hensley's tearful apology. Bill? Glad you know it was clear the emotions were running high even before Christina Hemsley walked into the courtroom this afternoon and before her sensing hearing, believe me, the hallway was completely packed. Crowd of several dozen, in fact, was so large, judge actually had to keep the doors open to allow spectators to actually stand in the hallway and doorway, see and hear the proceedings. Then Hensley was brought into the courtroom with handcuffs and shackles, looking very upset and on the verge of crying. After her attorney said she had no alcohol in the system at the time of the crash, she spoke up for herself, speaking to both Judge Keith Spaeth as well as the Chow family. I wish so bad that things would have turned out so different than they did. I live with what happened in my mind over and over daily. I never had any intention whatsoever for Mr. Cho to get hurt. I could never put into words how sorry I truly am. I just want the justice for my brother that anybody else in this courtroom would want for their brother, for their son, for their daughter. Just fair sentencing for what happened. <laughs> You could both see and hear the clear emotional reaction from the entire courtroom when the judge handed down a 10-year maximum sentence. Now, Hensley actually needed a chair to keep from collapsing to the floor while members of her own family were in the courtroom sobbing and crying. Now, many members of the Cho family and their friends are telling us tonight they actually wanted to see Hensley sentenced to a lot more than 10 years because they say they'll never again be able to see their brother, their son, or close friend alive. Clyde, uh, Clyde Tanya, back to you. All right, thank you. Bill Price live for us in Westchester.